Hey, it's Dr. Matt from Live Spring Chiropractic. We're here today with Melanie. Melanie is a Pure Bar instructor here in Austin, and Melanie just mentioned something to me that we hear commonly, and I'm gonna have you kind of re-explain what you're just telling me about your knee. So we, um, we've been walking outside a lot and going up and down hills in our neighborhood, and I've noticed just twinging in my knees. And the first question I always ask with Hills is, have you ever had a meniscus injury? Yes, and I have. I had surgery when I was 15, so. So for the people out there watching that don't know what the meniscus is, it's like a pad in the knee. And when we see an injury to the meniscus, many times what we'll notice is Hills will be challenging either uphill or downhill. So something that I hear like that, I'm always asking if they know that they even had that. If not, there's tests that we can do to see if it's showing up as a potential possibility. And then imaging is what we'd recommend. But knowing this, and do you remember what the tear was in your meniscus? So was it the inside part, the it outside was, part? It was the inside of my knee and they were able to trim it off rather than repairing it, so. So common, more commonly we'll see that, we call it the medial meniscus, which is that inside part. And again, it's something that affects with hills. So at the end here, we're gonna start with the spine first, and at the end we'll uh, run through an assessment of the knee, and then we'll show it what an adjustment looks like as well. Awesome. So let's start your face okay, down, please. Exactly. All right. And let's see here. I'm gonna start down here, so as we look at leg length, it just, again, one of the things that we look at is an indicator for pelvis alignment. And anything with knees also, pelvis has probably the most significant impact on the knee. When we see a misalignment of the pelvis, one of the things that will happen for overcompensation is an over-rotation of the tibia or that shin bone here. And when that happens, it'll show up as pain or discomfort many times in the knee too. So a knee problem is not always a knee problem, if that makes sense. And then feeling for motion. So uh, with pelvis here, looking at Melanie's leg length, there's definitely a difference in that right one's showing up short. She's shaking her head yeah, yes. I can feel it. She can feel that. What does it feel like? <laughs> it just it's it feels like you can more immediately press on like my hip bone here than it is on my left side. Yeah, so she's really smart. So that's moved back in space actually and is that tender there also yeah on that right side yeah okay so let's start you on your side facing me please like you're sleeping okay. and we're not doing a full assessment here with melanie today she's someone we've been working with for a while and we'll have some things here and there that come up and since she was feeling some stuff in the knee today i asked her if we'd be okay if we film it to show so I'm gonna roll you toward me a little bit there. And I'm actually gonna push you back just a little bit because the pants are sliding, there we go. Sliding. Yep. Good, right there. Perfect. And then face down one more time for me. Let me drop that rest. Yep. And then we'll recheck the same indicator. So when we come here, now the legs are even before that right one was short. Now we're even there. And then when we come here, it should feel different. Yeah, it feels. What was the difference to you was the biggest thing you noticed there? It, the, right there it felt even, like when you pressed down it felt like you evenly hit bone. Yeah, so she was right and she's so aware too of kind of what's going on. She's been uh, working, uh, we've been working together for quite some time, but that right hip had moved back in space like that. So that again, when we talk about that, one of the things that will influence the knee when the hips are out of balance, we'll see things show up in the knee. And then coming through the mid back now, mm -hmm. right there between the shoulders. Yep. Big breath in for me, please. And let it all go. Good. That's a big one. Yeah, good <laughs> movement. That's what we want. And then let's have you turn on your back, please, and we'll check the neck out. So same feeling for muscle tone and sitting yeah. at a desk all day doesn't help. Yeah. So what's your other job that you do? I'm an attorney. So she's an attorney. So she spends a lot of time sitting at a desk. I do. So it's a good balance for you having an active job like Pure Bar and something where you're not moving as much. So that top bone there yeah. on the left. A little bit here. 
There it is. It's stuck. Not anymore. Stubborn. Ah, there we go. Perfect. So we're going to check the knees now. And was there which which is the one that you had the surgery on? Left. The left. Okay. Yeah. So as we come here, first thing I'm feeling for right here in the joint is just the positioning of these two bones, the femur and the tibia, how they're lining up. And then I start to feel for motion. And on that inside part right there is where I'm finding this here, the tibia, the shin bone has rotated out like that. It's tender on the inside too. Yeah. And behind, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and behind the knee. So I'm feeling a muscle behind the knee. It's called the popliteus. The popliteus unlocks the knee. So I'm, I'm gonna just feel for motion here as I rotate the knee up and down, I'm just feeling under my fingers for motion right there mm -hmm. on the inside part. It's it's getting stuck. And that's one of the things that we'll see when there's a problem in the meniscus is it's just right there again. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just, it's not moving. It's not moving how it should. As I come to this other side, I'm gonna feel same thing for motion. This is just a good, yeah, so this one's yeah, so, right yeah, so much better. And it glides through all the way. And I, what I mean by that is under my finger here on the inside part, it's moving. As I move the leg, yeah. these should be moving through their normal motion. The right one is, the left one's not. Yeah. So let's show a couple muscle tests too, because when we see an alignment problem, we'll see a disengagement of the muscles surrounding the knee. One of them is gonna be that popliteus behind the knee. And look at this grimace. Can we get that on camera? <laughs> Can you do that face again? That's yeah, what she's doing. Feel like good. <laughs> poke behind the knee. So I'm gonna have you dig your heel into the table. I'm gonna try to push the toes out. Don't let me. This is testing that popliteus here. Okay, and then let's check this other side for reference. Same thing, I'm gonna push out, don't let me. So that one's, I'm pushing more and I can't budge it at all. This one, the quality of that hold is not as much. It's yeah. like a sporadic off and on, and then it'll bend and I can just move it. It's like so shaking a little bit. And do you notice that too? Yeah, yeah okay. I can feel the difference. So what that is, is telling me more it's here behind the knee. So it's telling me that this bone, the tibia, has moved backwards. So we're gonna move it forward toward me. And I'm just gonna feel for joint glide there before we move anything. Yeah, so there's some rotation on it also. It's rotated out yep. and it's moved back. So we need to bring it toward us here. And then a little pull toward me. A little more, let that go. Light your foot off the table, there we go. small one there. So already it's way better. Yeah. It's far less tender. And you're not grimacing. I'm not grimacing at you. So we still have to get some of that rotation. I didn't get that rotation in there yet. Okay. I just wanted to bring that tibia, that shin bone straight toward me here. So when I do this, it should feel, yeah. It does. feels better. It's moving now. Yeah. But we still have a slight rotation and we'll show what I mean by that too as a muscle test. Mm -hmm. So on this inside part, I wouldn't expect it to be as strong, but let's test that outside part first. So I'm gonna have you point your toes out. There we go. And the whole foot, I mean like, soften for me a little bit. Right there, hold okay. right there. Okay. I'm gonna try to push your whole leg down toward the floor. Don't okay. let me, your foot. Okay, good. Now let's turn the toes in. I'm gonna push your whole leg down toward the floor. Don't let me. Not as strong. Yeah, that feels weaker. Yeah, and that's the inside part. So as we rotate that back now, what that's gonna do is gonna create that right engagement. So together when we get this just right, so this is just gonna be a rotation of that tibia. There, and it sounds loud. How does that feel? It doesn't, it feels like a normal, just slight movement, slight pressure. And even when I was doing it with my hands, yeah, no it was pain. very light, yeah. it was a very, it's a small movement. Okay, good. And then here, so same thing, toes that way, good. I'm gonna push the whole leg down, don't let me. There we go. Feels stronger. Yeah, that's way better. Yeah. And then surrounding, so the two spots that were tender before behind way the knee, better. and that inside part. Yeah. Same thing. So then let's recheck this 
first one that we did, hold that down. I'm gonna push the foot out, don't let me. There, strong. and that's strong. That's what we want, yeah. So that was part of the knee. We're not finished with it yet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's one more here on the outside. It's called the fibula. And yeah. You can feel the resistance when you push my foot up. Yeah, exactly. And that should glide up and down. So what she's feeling is it's getting stuck at the end and it's not fully moving through its normal range. So it's right, right there. Okay. And so this is something that will come up in lingering pains where people describe having a calf pain almost and not yeah. knowing what it is, or the outside of the foot even, because mm -hmm. those muscles is where we typically feel it. And the muscles that originate there and run down into the foot are called either the popliteal muscles or you know, out there, fibularis longus and brevis. <laughs> so we're gonna check even the foot yeah. where those come down into this. So there's two things definitely here and in the foot on the outside part. Right there, we're gonna make an adjustment. Yeah. There we go. So moved well. It's gliding back. That's the cuboid now on the top here. Checking the whole ankle mortis. Talus. Good. And then the calcaneus for the heel bone. There we go. And right there, the intermediate cuneiform, one of the bones through the midfoot that's stuck. Is that, I don't know the center at all, Melanie. Yes, no, it is tender. They almost made me have surgery on that part of my foot. Really? What'd they yeah. say? They told me, oh shoot, what did they call it? They called it like um, and something or an and, oh shoot, I don't remember what it was, but they were going to put a plate on the top of my foot because I was having so much pain mm. in that arch right through the top of where you were pressing. Mm. I don't remember what they called it. Has, I mean, how would you describe too, since we've been working together with your feet especially? So much better. It's so much better. Like everything just feels stronger in that portion of my foot. Yeah, so that's awesome. Yep. Yeah. I didn't know that. See, yeah. she never told me. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's check this foot also. And then what we'll do this last one on the knee, we're actually gonna do from that other direction. One more on, there we go. Can that be from going up on my toes and like being in heels and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the biggest thing that we see from that too is a change in this joint right here. So yeah. up under that big toe and where bunions will come from mm -hmm. is usually that. Just a strain, Just a strain excessive right strain on that joint and you're squishing it like that. But yeah. then you put it in this position for so long and it puts a ton on a strain right there on the joint. So what we're gonna do also is make a quick adjustment right there to bring that up where it should be. There. And then commonly too, it'll be not just in that joint, but one down from at the base of that first metatarsal, if you want to call it. That one's fine, but this one's not. Right there. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was just quick to say yeah on that one. We'll let the knee fall, and then on this one, uh, it'll drop. There it is. There. Much better. How it's moving, that's what we want. Good, so let's, for this one on the knee, I'm actually gonna have you lie face down, please, and we'll show what, this is a posterior fibula, is what we call this for any chiropractors out there watching, or if you're a nerd out there watching, you can nerd out. So right there. So that's part of the bone. Yeah, is that tender? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and that moves as, should move, mm -hmm. as we do this on the foot. Okay. Moving up, but it's not back down there. So I'm gonna be right on that, that's the fibular head. Relax your leg into me. I'm gonna grab this. A little pull. There. And now, now we're kicking. It releases. Now we're good. So let's have you walk on it even, please. And I will, thank you. We'll see how it feels how as you feel. move on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like blood is rushing to it, which is... Which is a good thing. It's a great <laughs> feeling. It's a great, because it's like fresh blood going to that area. Yeah. Um, which helps with like recovery and stuff too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know what you just mentioned too is that you feel like you're 
maybe muscles are engaging better, right? Yeah. Your legs. Absolutely. Yeah, cool. So for anyone maybe out there watching who hasn't had their feet adjusted or their knees adjusted, what would you explain and maybe even how it feels or the difference um, from, from having it done? It, it feels like your feet are brand new. Uh, <laughs> and it's like your your bones can kind of spread out a little bit more. It's like they can they can flex and press into the ground. There, it just feels like blood is rushing to them, which is great. <laughs> and she looks happier. Which I is am, I am happier, yes. Yeah. yes awesome, no. cool. Well, thanks so much yeah. and thanks for watching. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you wanna watch more, click the subscribe button below. Make sure to leave the comments, and if you have a video you'd like us to make, we're open to doing it. Just let us know what you want to see. Yeah! Mm. <laughs>